I gotta ask, this is a hell of a performance, man. This is a great performance. Thank you. You have to do a whole lot without this. Yep. How easy is that? How <laughs> difficult? I don't even know. What was what was that like for you? Well, it's like it's one of these things where you when you remove one of the key elements, it makes all the other elements that much more important. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I had friends that were saying like, oh, you know, so we'll be able to hang out on this one because you won't have to be home and like learning your lines. And I'm like, oh, I don't think it's going to be quite that easy. And, and I, I quickly realized that it was going to be a lot more demanding. The, the whole narrative is driven by that he has, you know, so much grief and rage in him. But I don't speak. So it, I have to tell that story just in my eyes and the little, you know, micro expressions that you know, the face does when you're filled with emotion or, you know, your thought process is really intense. I, I really had to be, uh, it, it demanded me to sort of emotionally prepare for each take in a way that, um, that I haven't done before. And so it was, because it, it all gets revealed. And I, I felt immediately, if I, if I wasn't like intensely there every take, it just felt flat. You're telling the story of, of each scene in a way, but there's no words. So there's a lot more room for, you know, ideas to come up and, and, and new thoughts to arrive in the middle of a scene to tell that story. So, you know, you develop a really close relationship with the Steadicam operator and, uh, and, and to make the, the, those, you know, little adjustments or, you know, following the impulses that might happen in the scene, you have to be completely emotionally engaged and present in every moment or, or you're not going to get the right impulses. That's true. I, could, I can see that. Now, and yeah. also you are, I want to talk about your working with John. I mean, this is your producer of this film. Yeah. What was it like and what was that partnership like? Not only as you as an actor, he as a director, but as a producing partner. Well, uh, so, you know, I, I jumped in at a, at a pretty early stage um, and I had a pretty clear idea of what stunt team I wanted to work with. And, and, and I, I've seen, you know, I've done some action before and, and I've developed a relationship with some people that I, you know, I, I find, I think that they're the best in the business and, and we have a good relationship. So. We developed together, I mean, of course, in conversation with John, but an idea of what we wanted the action and, and you know, the fights to be like. So, uh, so I sort of brought that team, um, you know, with me to, to the film. And those were the people that I was, you know, training with to, to prepare for it. And, you know, we had, we had a clear idea that, you know, because the character in, in, in himself, he's not like an expert at anything. He, he you know, he's training himself in, in his basement. but. So we wanted the, the spectacularity of the action to be more in the ruggedness of it. And we wanted to do that by me doing all the dirty stunt stuff that you usually hand over to the, to your, uh, you know, your performance. Like I had stunt guys that, you know, did big falls and stuff like that for me too, but I did a lot more than I think is common. I did, you know, stair falls and, you know, ugly falls. And, <laughs> and, 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 and then we created a language in the fights where, we would, you know, choreograph, you know, sort of anchor points in the fight, and then we'd create real scrambles in between them, uh, where we, you know, we wouldn't throw real punches, but it, there would be an improvised element in the fights. We really wanted to, to give it like a, you know, sometimes fights in movies can feel very choreographed. It's like, I do this and you do that. And, and it's all like a little too clean and perfect. So we wanted it to be messy and ugly, more like real fights are. I'm watching this film and I, I love revenge films. I think there's something interesting about them. And I love the exploration of grief and, and, and taking something into your own hands. But I feel like there is more to Silent Night than that. There is a bit of a social commentary on how we see violence and how random violence can change someone's life immediately. Was that ever your intention going in with this? Yeah, you know, in, uh, in real life, whenever I uh, watch the news and uh, I even heard, you know, some innocent people got killed and, and, and some young kids, uh, you know, got killed by, uh, by the gang or, you know, 
by anyone, you know. You always make me feel sad. I, I feel sad for the family. I feel sad for the, uh, what had happened, you know. And I also feel angry. You are angry. It, 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 it seems, it seems like not much people can do it about it. So when I when I got a script like uh, Silent Nights, I feel, you know, uh, oh, uh, what what had happened in the script? It could happen in uh, for in any any family for uh, any man, you know, like the the the, the, the innocent kid, you know, uh, killed you know, by the uh, gangster, you know. I so, you know. It's so hurt, you know. So, so, so I, I feel so because I have a, a family. I have three kids, you know. What if my, my, my one of my kids got, you know, got hurt, you know? So I, uh, I, I, I will feel the same as a, uh, my our character. So I, uh, I love the script, you know, and I, uh, and also had made me. Uh, to uh, tune it down on my own style, and I, you know, and I usually my movie look pretty fancy and uh, romantic, and you know, have a, not a big scale of the action. But for this one, I try to make it more of realistic because I make it feel like it's, uh, it could happen to anyone. <laughs> There's a grounded nature to this film. The violence does, it, it's incredible. The car chases, all of it's incredible, <laughs> but there's a grounded nature to it. And I, so that was intention, that was your intention then. Talk about working with Joel. What a what a performance. Oh, oh my God. She's, he's wonderful. Yeah. He's wonderful. He's, he's, he, he, he makes it so much believable. He's so much believable as a, uh, an, as an, uh, an ordinary man. You know, and uh, do uh, some you know an uh, incredible thing. You know, and uh, he, you know, he's not that uh, kind of superhero type. Uh, he's not a super fighter, uh, but he's a real man. He's a real man. So that's what I like about him. And then why we uh, and actually he's a great actor. Uh, you say he's not a you know a kung fu type. You know, he's a great actor. He had you know uh, great uh, performance. All came from his heart. You know he was so heartful man. So when we when we work together, he's uh, uh, he was so concerned. Uh, his eyes, he wanted to uh, deliver all the emotion, all all his uh, performance through his eyes. It was, it was really great, you know. And then, the, but in the meantime, since we don't have a dialogue, so it will uh, it will make the audience. With a strict contact with the actors, uh, they will uh, more focus on their face, on their performers, uh, and to feel what they wanted to say, and to feel what they, uh, you know, uh, what they feel, you know. So it's uh, 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 it's good. I mean, uh, Joe, by the meantime, is a hard-working man, really hard-working, and uh, he had been he had two, the two months, you know, and. Uh, practicing with the uh, stunt guys for all the action sequence. You know, I just uh, let them know, okay, what I want, what I'm thinking about uh, the, the, the action, how to fight it, and then, and then they practice every day, every day. You know, and, and then show me the tape, uh, show me how they work in the tape, every day, you know, so. And then, uh, and on the set, so we no need to much of a rehearsing. Whenever we get ready, and they came in to shoot it and do it fine.